My name is Suzanne Stanley. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of the Jamaica Environment Trust. Nodotti Up Jamaica is part of a larger project called the Clean Coast Project. It's a public education campaign and we launched it in February 2015. So Nodotti Up Jamaica is really aimed at improving the way Jamaicans manage their garbage. We had lots of materials, we had public service announcements, we were really pushing the message through social media and traditional media. But we wanted to do some on the ground work. We really wanted to see whether Nodotti of Jamaica could make a very real change, a real impact in a Jamaican community. And that's where we got the idea for the Model Community Program. So the project partners were the Tourism Enhancement Fund. They were the primary sponsors of the Nodotti of Jamaica project. Initially, we chose Trenchtown and Nine Miles to participate in the Model Community Project because they're both linked to tourism through Bob Marley. And one is a rural community and one is an urban community. The problems are people seem to attach some economic value to keeping areas dirty. Look behind us, the rubbish. Mm -hmm. Before the holiday, we have to put it on fire to make sure that the kids don't get sick. The disposal is not done on a timely basis. So the garbage trucks don't come every week. There are sometimes when the, the garbage gets so high, as you can see, some people burn it. Persons in our community, they lack information to the fullest in how to dispose of their garbage. The one common thing in all communities was that they were very dirty. A lot of garbage everywhere. I love how my community looks. But what I don't want is garbage to destroy the aesthetics of the community. What we really want is for this rubbish dumping to stop where I'm going like around here, sir. Uh, if you continue like this, you know, say, world Jamaica will pollute. These are the things that pollute the whole area, the community in a whole. And if we don't get rid of these things, in the, in the space of less of no time, we're going to have a health of work that we cannot control it. Later on in the project, Lakes Pin was added um, because Wisinko came on as a new sponsor for Nodotti of Jamaica. Welcome to Lakes Pin. So Wisinko came along and they really wanted to include a community that was close to them. So you may know that their warehouse is out in Lakes Pin, St. Catherine, and their head office actually is there as well. So they really wanted to include Lakes Pen as a part of this project. The garbage, sometimes it takes a time for the collector to collect the garbage. Different, different truck come and dump the rubbish. The water in the canal is so bad. The canal is somewhere we used to bathe, wash. The mara start growing there, rubbish. We have to teach people how to put away their rubbish. In each of the communities, the first step was to create some kind of contact with a community group, an association, you know, some organization in each area that uh, had the listening ear of the community members. We partnered with community-based groups and community leaders who acted as liaisons between us and the community members. The second thing we did was some follow-up visits. The follow-up visit that we did first actually involved us uh, taking a camera crew in and documenting the issues. So we did interviews with residents, we did interviews with the community association, we went and looked at what the problem really was, because we wanted to document a before. We wanted to show what the community looked like before. So step three was to have a big community meeting. So we did community meetings in each of the three communities to sensitize them to what was coming. We've been talking to people all over Jamaica about how they think about garbage, right? Because it has helped us to make the signs and the jingle and the little films that we've made because we've talked to people and found out how they feel about garbage, right? And one of the things we've found out is that people think, they, they feel that they're responsible for their own yard and they keep that very clean. But they don't feel like once they're outside their yard, that is their responsibility to keep clean. They don't think that. They think it's a government responsibility to keep the outside area clean. So one of the things Nadotti Up Jamaica is trying to do is to change everybody's mind about that. 
where we all feel that it's not just my yard I'm responsible for, but my community and my roads and the whole island, so that we all take responsibility for the garbage that we produce. During that community meeting, we also invited different partners. So the Tourism Enhancement Fund was there. We also had Wisinko there at all of our meetings. We believe that tourists come to Jamaica and Jamaicans enjoy Jamaica because it's one of the most beautiful places on the planet. But if we keep these things happening, you can imagine after a while it won't be the most beautiful place. As a company, we're very focused on the environment. We built just down the road, on the Dyke Road, a recycling depot. That is going to be the national recycling depot for all plastics. And I think we have to change the culture in Jamaica to include the Solid Waste Management Authority. And I think there's a representative here today from NSWMA, and I want to say we're happy that they're here and partnering with us on this initiative. And of course, a very important partner was the National Solid Waste Management Authority. We have to reach out to the, the community, we have to reach out to the citizens, and in terms of public education, we have to play our part in helping us and helping our country, Jamaica at large, to, to restore our natural beauty. The thing that we, we, we produce a lot of that has become a serious problem is the plastic, right? A lot of plastic garbage, so plastic bottles, um, plastic fork, knife, the, star, the foam box, the foam, the foam box and the foam cups. Uh. If they pass in, in taxi mm -hmm. and they're drinking a drink, they, yes, they finish, yes. they just throw it out the window. Yes. See how you throw it a bag right at my shop here. I'm going to wait for the taxi and stop him and say, so I can come out and take it up. And, and he take one? it up. Yeah, he take it up and put it back in the van. Oh, okay. So people they, they learn how to oh. separate them rubbish. Right. Like, like I said, plastic from, from paper and all of that. And if, if they did, somebody teach them up and they, they have like certain jumps, certain type of rubbish, then they could have followed a the procedure there and there'd be less. But most importantly as well, it is a matter of civic pride. Agree with you there. Pride. Because there are certain things that I never used to see when I was a child in the garbage and I'm seeing it now. It is not acceptable and shouldn't be. So from the tour, you know, we came back, we brainstormed to see what is needed in each community and we realized that all communities needed bins. 100 bins are coming to Lake Spain. Today we roll out 100 bins in Trenchtown community and these bins will be distributed among five districts in the community. We had identified um, chemical drums, so old chemical plastic drums, as a very suitable option for garbage bins in the Jamaican context. Because you want a lightweight bin. You want something that a garbage man, one garbage man or two at the most, can easily lift and tip into the back of a truck. So we donated 300 of these types of bins, 100 per community. This morning we got six bins. We are so grateful for these bins because they will help in us storing the garbage. We are very, very glad and grateful for the bins because it will help us with our garbage. And we are hoping that from the lessons learned from this campaign will be used to advise other communities across the island how they can better dispose of their garbage. Right across the board, the community members have been really positive about the project. They have embraced it. I like what's going on, you know, in the community. Yes, man, I love it. Good thing for the community. Keep the city clean, keep the place clean, you know. So we went back after we did the bin distribution to see what was going on, and the community members were really, really appreciative of the bins. It really did improve the situation because even in the Christmas time period when they had the shortage of garbage collect collection, these bins helped us a lot. Buy the juice and stuff and them just eat it and chew it on the street. But no, we're not see that because the bin is almost everywhere close to the shops. The garbage shop been coming on a regular basis. From you guys coming, it been improved. It improved a lot, trust me. It's not piling up. You can't even see the garbage pandemic. Check them come this morning, up until this morning, the garbage have come already and gone. Leaving the bins by business places was positive in that the business owners secured the bins. 
So in doing that, we were able to account for like those bins more so than other ones that were left, you know, at random spots on the roadside. Well, me not tell you, you know, say bin them in the community is a good thing. It's the best thing we ever see come across, I swear. We need some more bins. Because you don't know one now, this is a tourist area, you know. Right as Bob Marley place over there is a tourist area, you know, tourists come and then go inside them, go outside. Tourists eat, we eat, you know what I mean? So garbage come enough, you know what I mean? So one garbage pan can't work. We used to have a lot of buckles on the road, but now, you know, everyone starts to they see the bins, they throw it in, in, in the bins. Uh. We used to have, um, I, I, will, I will call it the old system. Normally, the truck normally come around like six months. Some of the time we have to, like, call, call, I say, hey, you know, a lot of, lot of rubbish is around. Since um, another trip, Jamaica, uh, come put in the trash bins in the community and contact them as well. You know, we have a, a beautiful meeting, and from there, you know, you know everything sort of um, like work out like once a month now. So it's a big improvement from from that uh, what we, I call the old system. We saw where improvements had taken place, but. Each of the communities still have some way to go in improving how solid waste is managed on the ground. Since the No Dirty Up Jamaica campaign has come in our community, I've seen a lot of changes. Mainly for Cali Smith Drive where persons were dumping the rubbish on the sidewalk, making it difficult for the rubbish truck to clean up in the, in the days when they are here. But since we got the drum, persons are utilizing the drums, throwing their rubbish in the drums. We are seeing Cali Smith Drive being a little bit more cleaner. Because most of you look every bar, every shop you see a bin, so you know you're supposed to throw a bucket or a plastic from the road or in the gully. At this time it's working very well. There is no, as you can see, the breeze is blowing and there is no bad juice bag or paper, biscuit and bags blowing, no papers are blowing on the street because the drum are very essential at this time for the area. We would I like to see the garbage truck come more often, if I even two times a week. You know, I would I like to get some more drum more in the community, because what we get, you know, is not enough. Throughout this project, I learned that education is very important. Uh, we really need to have either people on the ground or specific contacts within these communities to get the word out and to keep on reiterating the message. No dirty up Jamaica, don't throw your garbage on the ground, don't dump it in a gully, put it in a bin, um, wait until the garbage collectors come to collect it. These projects cannot be short-term ventures. There has to be continuous reinforcement of the values that we are trying to impart through the project. So simple things like putting your garbage in a bag before you throw it in the bin, you know, those are easy for people to adopt. But when it comes to separating trash and putting your plastics in one bag and putting your, your compost materials in another container, those are things that, you know, it's going to happen over time and it's going to, it's not going to happen unless there is reinforcement and unless people are practicing so it would be good for us to have the the ability to continue the project over sustained periods so that we can go into schools we can have you know multiple community meetings and in so doing we can reinforce the kind of practices that we want people to adopt we really want to see this project continue we've had really good results so far we've had great feedback from Jamaica, from these communities. The communities really want to see this project go on. Well, my hope for the Nodoti Up Jamaica model community project is that it will be replicated in communities across Jamaica. Even other members of the public, corporate agencies, government agencies, schools, service clubs, maybe there is a community that you grew up in or are concerned about that you think you can help and apply what we did there. Nodoti Up Jamaica is a movement and uh, we really like the work that we've been doing and we really hope that uh, we will be able to continue it. What was it? Brought to you by the Tourism Enhancement Fund and Wisinko.